Hey everyone, thanks for checking out another one of our videos. Today we're off to explore some of the walks on offer at the World Heritage listed Springbrook National Park. First up today we're heading to do the Natural Bridge Walk which is about an hour and a half's drive from Brisbane or a 45 minute drive from the Gold Coast. Then we'll be getting back in the car and heading about 30 minutes up the road to the Talandana picnic area where we'll be doing the Twin Falls Circuit Walk. Our final destination for today is a short walk to see if the best of all lookout really is the best of all lookouts. Alright, let's go have a look. Hey everyone, just got to Springbrook National Park and going to go and check out the Natural Bridge. wondering what was wobbling that tree over there. It's a child. I think we're coming up to the natural bridge. So we've just set off from the Talanbana picnic area to do the Twin Waterfalls walk. And it's about two hours return. Let's go check it out. So they've had a ripper of a storm through here at some point. Check that out. And the trees. More damage over here. And through here. It's also why you don't stand under trees in storms. It's our descent down from the top of the waterfall down towards the bottom. Just over there. There's some water. Maybe that's the Twin Falls. Let's get down there and have a look. This waterfall was not the Twin Falls, now we're at the Twin Falls. Alright, so we're just chatting to a lady who's a local up here and has said that whilst we are at the Twin Falls, unfortunately it's been very dry here lately, so kind of one waterfall and a trickle directly above us, just here. That's one of the waterfalls, and then that one you can clearly see. One of the cool parts about this walk is you can actually walk behind the waterfall. Apparently, when the waterfall's actually pumping, you get drenched coming back here. Today, it's dry. What do you think? I want to go for a swim. There's another little waterfall here, which is pretty cool. I'm going to go and see if I can have a bit of a, a look. I'll be slippery. There 
I'm gonna get down. Down. Come out. Yep. Falling. It's very lovely. our walk the Twin Falls. Highly recommend coming down here. Some stunning scenery. Big rocks and caves. It's been very dry apparently so the falls themselves there's not much water coming down at the moment but they're still quite beautiful nonetheless. Just peaceful too. actually what I'm talking about with the caves and the rock formations and stuff. It's really cool around here. Like this. Check this out. Just for a bit of perspective, that's Twin Falls. That's where we just were. We we're just downstream a little bit. Beautiful. It is very peaceful, and I think that's one of the things that I love about getting out and bushwalks and camping, and there's nobody around. Lovely. Destination three of three. Best of all lookout and Antarctic beach trees. Must have a pretty good reputation calling it the best of all lookout. So that was our day at Springbrook National Park. I have to say it's been a couple of years since I've done any hiking and after this trip I'm wondering why I ever stopped. Natural Bridge and the best of all lookouts are very easy walks for everyone regardless of your fitness level. We even saw an old lady with a walking frame so there's no excuse not to check these two walks out. The only drawback I had with Natural Bridge was the crowds. We didn't help ourselves by arriving at the walk at about 10am on a public holiday during the school holidays, but I felt with the walk being so busy it kind of took away from this otherwise beautiful location. So my advice here would be to go outside of peak time such as during the week or either go early or late on the weekends. As an extra incentive for going late on the weekends there are glowworms in the caves at Natural Bridge, so if you do go late stay until after dark and check out the glowworms. The Twin Falls walk was a bit more of a challenging walk in that it was a 4km round trip that takes you from the top of the waterfall down to the base and then back out again. 
That being said, I wouldn't say that this walk was an overly difficult walk, and to give you a bit of perspective, we walk past people of all ages, including families with young children. I also wouldn't say that I'm in peak fitness, and whilst I was a bit short of breath on the way back up, if you take it steady, you'll be fine. Regardless of your fitness level, the effort is totally worth it. I really enjoyed both the walk into the falls as well as the waterfall itself, and I thought that being able to walk behind the waterfall was also really unique. Unfortunately, you can't swim at the natural bridge. However, you can go for a swim at Twin Falls, so if the weather is good, make sure you pack a towel and go for a dip. That's all for this time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then give us a like, hit the subscribe button, and let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.